Hey beauties and welcome back to my channel. It's me Riri and I hope you guys are enjoying this series. If you've been watching all week already, thank you. I love you. I appreciate you. <laughs> this is Back to Basics part six or seven. Holy shit, I don't even know. Um, it'll be written in the description box in the title. <laughs> um, any hoozles, you can see we have gone through foundation, brows, eyeshadow, etc. We are going to try to get the bronzing, contouring, blush, and highlight all in one video. So we're going to get through this quickly. Um, first and foremost, contouring. I do not always contour and you do not have to contour. If you are going to contour though, you want to start off with a small, firmly packed brush. Um, this is an SL Miss Glam and this is a foundation brush, but because it is small and kind of more concave, I love it for contouring. I also have this wonderful baby right here. If you get one of these, uh, pretty much that does the work for you. So one or the other, and you want to go into a contour powder. Traditionally speaking, contour is more cool toned bronzer is more warm so I'm gonna go in right here because this one is more cool tone as you can see it's more of a true brown whereas this one up here has some kind of red orange with it so that is warm tone that is cool tone I'm first gonna go in with my brush just to show you the application and I'm gonna kind of firmly pack this brush you can also use a really fine contouring brush something very small like this um, whatever your preference is if you don't know I would always start with something like this or even an actual chiseling contour brush. So I'm gonna go in and really, really pack my brush up. A good rule of thumb for contouring, regardless of your face shape, your skin tone, whatever the case may be, is that when you make a fish face, you're gonna follow this contour or this hollow right here. So you're gonna make a fish face, and from that line up is where you wanna contour. Another really good rule of thumb is to you can kind of take a piece of paper plastic whatever the case may be and form a line from the very top of the ear and come all the way down to the corner of the mouth for myself personally or anyone that is a little bit more mature older or you have a lot of problems with your smile lines kind of creasing or collecting product i don't go past the center of my eye with my contour shade so you can come right here Again, starting at the very top, and for me, I only come to the center of my eye, and I'm kind of kind of firmly, and it's going to look crazy and really muddy at first. I'm going to kind of pull up into the hairline. We always want everything to go into the hairline, you guys. We want everything to really blend out well. And then I'm going to come across to the very center of my eye, and I'm not going to pass that line. So now you can see when I move my card, bam, honey, we already got some chiselness going on, okay? So that is the first method super duper easy i'm also going to try with this right here i absolutely love this brush i load up pretty much both ends of it and same exact principle you can either do a fish face and then follow above that line i'm a fluffy girl so you don't really see the concaves in my cheeks but you can either do that or again follow the very top part of the ear and bring it down to the corner of the mouth again i do not go past the center of my eye only because I don't like product in here. It's just not flattering. So I'm going to kind of lay this on its side first and again do it pretty heavily. And again, I'm not passing kind of that center point right there. That is a personal thing. Um, if you want to bring your contour all the way down, that's totally fine. So you can see I have the contoured defined line on both sides. Now with this, I just stay in this brush and you want to buff up. You never want to buff down on your contour because the point is to lift and bring forth shade or shadow to the places that we want to hide or, you know, things like that. Um, highlighting and contouring. Highlighting is to bring forth a product or highlight it. Contouring is to shade and bring things back. So with this, again, now I'm gonna lay it, you know, flat and just kind of really carve that out. And then I'm gonna buff up again into the hairline. And then you can already see that while it's still somewhat harsh, it's already starting to kind of softly be blended out because this brush does all the work for you. Now on this side, you can definitely see it's 
pretty harsh so I'm gonna go back in with the same brush again really focusing on that hairline we want to make sure that everything is blended all the way around with our foundation with whatever product we're using and the same principle as using this brush right here I'm very softly gonna start diffusing you still want it to be fairly harsh not necessarily harsh but you want to know that you've got contour on we're not contouring to just blend it all the freak away so again buffing up we do not want to buff down the purpose is to lift the face and then I'm going to take this brush for this side and go into the hairline and I'm going to come straight up for myself I don't have a larger forehead so I'm not trying to like combat a larger forehead or more round face or anything through here so for myself I'm gonna stay actually in my hairline with the brush and I kind of almost create a heart shape I'm gonna come down just a little bit in the center and then stay in the hairline again all the way down and then to here I'm still in the same exact brush now I'm gonna contour underneath my jawline and from here, I'm going to start about an inch below. You can come all the way up to the ear. I start about an inch below my ear and contour just to, to right here. That's all I feel like I need. If you want to contour all the way around, by all means, you can contour all the way around. Um, you want to make sure that you stay under the jawline because if you bring the shade above the jawline, you're going to create a five o'clock shadow and it ain't cute. Okay, so buff very softly. And then once I kind of lay that line down, I'm then going to blend slowly down the same way that I blended here in an upward motion. So I'm going to blend down. I'm going to go back into this. I'm going to come right under here. This is probably not the best um, angle. I'm going to come right here, but I'm going in a moon shape. Like I'm going back and forth like this. And then I'm going to come down both sides very very softly I don't want an actual kind of direct line I just want that little bit of a shadow so you can see that it creates that shadow and it just gives me that nice chiseled jawline <laughs> that I don't have and you can see the difference over here so we're gonna go back into this one and I'll show you what I do with that same exact thing I load up the top of the brush and the sides of the brush so with the flat part of the brush, I'm again going to go into my hairline. I'm staying as close as I can to my actual hairline. I'm going to come up into my hairline, bring it down slowly and just a little tiny bit here. Again, creating a heart shape for myself. And then following that hairline all the way around and again buffing up. Then from here, I'm going to use the sides of my brush and load that up. And same thing, I'm going to come down to about right here and really start chiseling that out and then buffing it downward and again you do not want to buff up because it's going to create a five o'clock shadow up here and it's not very flattering y'all okay we're staying on the actual jawline and I'm just going to buff down now I'm just going to use this just because I'm here and just make sure that everybody is blended out really well we do not want harsh lines from this again we're creating shade and light our light is going to be our highlight which pulls features forward and then these planes of the face are typically the higher planes of the face where like the sun would hit you if you got you know sun kissed or sun tanned or sunburnt if you get burnt <laughs> so that is the basic basic principle as far as where to place it now i'm going to show y'all a trick that i learned a very very long time ago and it works for everybody then you can add contour and bring it down further here if you have a larger forehead you're trying to combat things like that you can also carve out the nose we're going to get to all that but i'm going to go into my contour i'm going to act like i don't have anything on right now i'm going to start here i'm going to bring it up come over here now from here all i'm going to do is create a three I'm going to start in my hairline, bring it around, come down to here, stop, and kind of not really put product, and then get down to here. You're basically creating a 3 or an E. So if you can take your brush and you can literally create a 3 or an E, and then buff here downward, here upward, and here blending it out into the hairline, you can always do contour so easily. It works, I'm telling you. Now I'm going to come in with this little fine brush, which... I just had it and I don't know what I did. I do this every time, y'all. And my phone's probably gonna die by the time we get to the next thing. Okay, here we go. 
I like to take just kind of a fluffy brush here. You can use like a fluffy eyeshadow brush as well. This one from e.l.f. is a buck or two bucks. Um, I do not like a very defined nose contour. If I do, contour is the smallest little amount of product. So I am going to load up this little brush, this brush, a fluffy eyeshadow brush, whatever the case is, and I'm going to follow the hollow. You guys have heard me say this a few times. I'm going to follow the hollow where my eye is at and my brow starts, and I'm going to softly stay in that hollow and follow it down the bridge of my nose. Now, the further out you come and bring your lines, the wider your nose is going to appear. The further in you bring your contoured lines, the more chiseled and more narrow your nose is going to appear. So I'm going to do the other side again, starting in that hollow. I'm going to follow my hollow on both sides. And you can see I keep mine just very, very minimal. Now I'm going to create a tiny V under my nose. Now if a person has a larger nose, what I'm looking at now is the very center of their nose. I'm not focusing on if the nose is too broad, too, too you know, round, whatever the case may be. And then I'm going to take a clean brush, follow my hollow again, the same way we would use our fluffy brush or a blending brush when creating shadow looks. And I am just going to softly buff that out. That way you can see that the contour is there, but it's not a harsh line. So that's kind of a good rule of thumb. Again, the further in you come, the more slender the nose is going to appear. The further out you come, the more wide the nose is going to appear. If you cut through here, you can also bring shadow under here. If you have a larger nose as well, it's going to help to kind of hide that a little bit. That's the purpose of us contouring is to hide some stuff. Now I'm going to take a very small smudger eyeshadow brush, one like this, or you can use just anything that's kind of smaller and more tapered. And we're going to go back st again straight into the cool shade and I'm going to come right under the lip and I'm going to get kind of close so you guys can see. All right now you can see, I mean, I love the shape of my lips. I feel like I have decent, you know, sized and shaped lips, but if you want to make the lips appear larger, it is as easy as contouring one little tiny line. I'm going to tuck my lips up and create a line right under the center of the lip here. And I'm not going all the way across, literally just right here. And then I'm going to take that little empty brush, softly diffuse it. Now it creates a little shadow under here and just makes that lip just kind of pop out a little bit more, it makes it just look a little bit more full, a little bit more fluffy. So those are my tips as far as contouring goes. I think it's super easy. I think that if you literally can create a three and do your cool tone first and your lines are going to be, you know, slightly smaller and they're not going to be quite as buffed or diffused out, you can do a contour. Again, start at the forehead here, create your three and come all the way down. You're going to buff the jawline down, the cheek line up. Now with your bronzer. I always like to do a more warm bronzer. I also like a bronzer with a little bit of shimmer in it. This is the Too Faced. Yeah, you can see it definitely has a little bit of a metallic sheen to it. Um, contour is always going to be matte. Bronzers, you can go matte bronzer or shimmer. I have dry skin. I prefer a, a shimmer. And this is the Too Faced Chocolate Gold Soleil. I use a very big open fluffy brush, like the biggest brush I can find. And I'm going to go into this, swirl it around, tap off any excess. Y'all know I keep a towel here as well and I'm just going to create my three again. Now this time, because this brush is so much bigger, it's going to create a much more diffused look and it just brings in that beautiful warmth to the skin. So you're following the same principles as you are with your contour, except you're still creating that three, but it's going to be more diffused. This is where everything really starts to blend out. You can see that I don't have any harsh lines or anything like that left from my bronzer, I mean my contour. And again, I am creating a three and then blending everything here down, everything here upward. And I love how that looks. I love to take my bronzer over my nose as well. I just do. And again, I'm always avoiding, especially if you're like me and you have pronounced smile lines, you're older, dry skin, more mature, avoid these lines here. I don't ever put any product in those lines at all. So you can see 
Now that really starts to diffuse everything out. It gives me just a little bit of a glow. It's not sparkly, glittery, crazy, anything like that. Now, I like to do my highlight first. I know sometimes here if I'm doing it, I'll hurry up and do it, do it last. I like to spray my face. Again, I spray in between foundation and then powders and stuff like that. So from here, I'm contoured, I'm bronzed, I'm bronzed the quads, honey. Nice and warm and just sun-kissed and pretty. I am going to set all the powders in place again. You do not have to do this if you don't have dry skin. Although I will say, even if you have oily skin, um, it really helps to make all the products get into the skin. It makes you not look dusty and cakey and stuff like that. So I'm going to go in, this is an actual foundation brush. It is a Luxie 660, but it's nice and domed and super open and fluffy. This is one of my favorite for highlighting. And I'm going in with the Fenty Kilowatt in Hustler Baby. It is a beautiful gold. Um, if you have kind of light to medium and lighter, you want to stay away from darker golds, darker bronzes and stuff like that. If you have... Um, beautiful deep skin, um, medium to deep skin, very warm skin. You can go for golds, deeper golds, bronzes, coppers, etc. Um, on beautiful fair skin, I like to use more of an icy kind of silvery highlight or a very soft pink or very soft champagne. So I'm going to load up just the tip of the brush, tap off any excess. Now again, highlighting is to bring forth a feature. We're going to highlight it. We want it to be prominent. So that's going to be the high planes of the face. I like to put it just on the tip of my nose and I like to kind of brush it out a little bit. I do a little dusting up here at the bridge. I do not make one stark line of highlight. I feel like that takes away the purpose of you trying to contour or slenderize the nose or make the, the nose appear smaller because when there's a line straight down the nose, that's all the person's going to look at is that, stri that strip that's right there. It's going to make your nose look elongated. Um, when I highlight, again, I do a soft little bit right here and then the tip of my nose, and then I do like to diffuse it out with either a clean brush or my fingers. Then we're going to take it and just the high planes of the cheek. So right above where our, where our contour and stuff like that is at. And I like to use this brush right here because I feel like if you do a thin brush, it just makes it look like a landing strip and it ain't cute, y'all. I mean, that's personal preference. If you like that and kind of like a really stark line, so to speak, then by all means do you. So again, we're hitting the high planes of the face, the very tops of the cheeks. And again, I did not layer any other, you know, products on here. I just get into it one time and then I'm going to softly kind of buff and diffuse just at the top. Now I'm going to do the same thing again, just a little bit of product. I like to come right above the brow and then the cupid's bow and that's it. I don't personally like to put a bunch down here and then in the center of my face. For me, personally, I feel like it looks sweaty, oily, greasy, and I do not like it. Um, especially on me by the end of the day or anybody that has oily skin, these particular spots like your T-zone and stuff like that, if they already sweat. Putting all that highlight there is just going to add to that and it is not attractive. Okay, so again, very high points of the face, high points of the cheeks. I like to really softly diffuse it. I do just the tip of my nose and a tiny little doop right there. Keep as well. And then right there as well. And that's it as far as highlight goes. After I do my highlight, I'm spraying again. This is going to make sure again that the highlight kind of gets into the skin. It becomes one with the skin and it's not sitting on the skin. It's going into the skin and you can see it really makes that kind of just in your face. It's gorgeous. Now I'm going to go to blush and you can do either or you can do your blush first, then your highlight, but I always spray in between and then do it this way with my blush. It's almost the exact same brush. I'm pretty sure it's probably okay. It's a tapered highlighter brush, but it's almost the exact same brush as the foundation brush. But again, one that's soft, open, fu you know, fluffy bristles. I'm going into Tarte Amazonian Clay Blush in Parte. I'm going to load up my brush. Again, tap off any excess. Again, for me, I do not put any product in my smile lines at all. So I like to smile, find the natural apple of my cheek, and do a circular buffing motion. 
on both sides and that's going to take off kind of the bulk of the product. And then I'm going to load my brush back up, but softly, and then I'm softly going to come right under where I just did my highlight at. So apples of the cheeks and come all the way up. Apples of my cheeks and come all the way up. I feel like when I do it this way, I also like blush across my nose <laughs> and into my hairline. So now you can see that everything is really blended beautifully. There's not like a harsh line of contour, a harsh line of your bronzer, a harsh line of blush, a harsh, you know, nothing is harsh at all. Everything is, is, has a beautiful gradient to it and everything kind of blends in stunningly together. Now I'm done. That's all I do for my blush and contour and stuff like that. If you wanted to really, really, really make your contour bam in your face, cut it out, or you're baking your face, this would be the time that in my makeup application that I would do that. I'm just gonna go in with my essence, brighten up. And I don't know what I did with my beauty blender. I just had it. So we'll just get a different one. <laughs> but I go in with my beauty blender, either the pointed end or in the Morphe sponge, I use the square end. I'm gonna load it up. And exactly where we contoured at, I'm going to walk this from, again, that corner of the lip all the way up to the top of my ear. And I like to just kind of take it and bring it down. If I ever do this step, you guys, which I will, I always do it if someone has oily skin. If I ever do this step on myself or someone with dry skin, I literally set it on there. And by the time I'm done with this side, I'm going to wipe the other side off. But if you really wanted to be chiseled out, you want to bake. And if you want to put a shit ton of powder, if again, if you're oily, you can do a shit ton of powder and you can keep this all here, do the rest of your makeup, come back to it and dust it off. For me, because I have very dry skin, we're going to just do just a, enough, just enough to chisel everything out. Take a fat face brush and I'm going to wipe it away. And you can see it really helps to define that contour line. Now, my very last step of makeup application ever is always to just take a clean brush. I want to make sure everything's diffused, everything is blended out, and I don't look powdery at all. And then I would set one more time with actual setting spray. So that is it for this one. Hope that that helped in some kind of way um, as far as your bronzers and contours and stuff like that. Um, just kind of, I think the basic things are to remember. Um, Contour typically is cool toned and we want to keep it kind of more concentrated and then bronzer is more warm toned and you want it to be kind of softer and more diffused. You're just bringing in warmth. Um, and remember contour and highlight is shading and lighting. So shading, you're trying to take away things. Highlighting, you're bringing something forth. So I hope that helps. Um, I'm feeling myself through this whole process, you know. It's kind of cool seeing everything come together too. I think that's like the beautiful, magical thing of, you know, about makeup. Um, so that is it for this. We literally only have lips and mascara to go, y'all. And we are there. We are in the freaking home stretch of a full face. So I hope you guys are enjoying the series. I am, faux show. I'm ready for a drink. I've been sitting here for about five hours. <laughs> um, but okay. And I'm in a lot of pain. Um, I love you all. Thank y'all so much for watching. I hope this is helpful in some kind of way. And um, I would love to know, just like the other videos, what are your tips and tricks? What have you learned along the way? What are your favorite highlight contour bronzing type products? Um, so yeah, if you like this video at all, then please give me a thumbs up and subscribe down below. If you'll tap that notification bell, I'd be even more grateful and thankful. And please always remember to be your own best beautiful. Bye beauties.